Welcome to this video on Fusion 360 where we will be showing you how to create an exploded engineering drawing from the file we created in a previous video. So we've got here our exploded assembly. So we've got the pin, the split pin, the rod and the link. And now what we want to do with this is to produce a document that we can print out or we can email to somebody else so they can see the way we want these components to be assembled later on. So the first thing we need to do is to go to new drawing from design. We should already have a template set up that meets the standards we're supposed to be working to, whether they be internal standards working for the company or standards that meet British standards 8888 and so on. We sh if we haven't got that, there is a video showing you how to do that, so you go back and watch that before you move into the next part because it's a lot easier to set that template up than to keep having to edit the title block and the setup each time. So we make sure we've got the template we want. We know it's this one. We go OK. You did see there the option to not have the full assembly, but as we want the exploded diagram, we need the whole assembly. If for some reason you've drawn the whole thing in one file and you only want to take a drawing of one part, you can just uncheck that previous box and reduce that there. We're going to need to change the scale on this because it thinks we're trying to do an orthographic drawing, so it wants to fit it in for that space, but instead we're going to type it in. Let's try two to one. That seems about right. So if we place this here, done. So you can see here, this isn't really helping, but we'll just place this first view to show you what we can do next. So we place the first view, said okay, right click to projected view. And then what we do, click on the view and drag it across. And then press return. So here you can see we've got all the different components. Now obviously if I didn't want to have these two views, if I just wanted this one, I could have changed it previously to show just this view. So I could have chosen instead of the front, I could have chosen the right, I can just place this view first. But for now, just to show you what you can do, I've placed it like this. Next thing we need to do is to do some balloon referencing, because at the moment, these are just objects. We don't know what they are. They could be different versions of multiple components we have available to us. So we go over to tables, and you can see it says balloon referencing. The shortcut for that is B. So we click on there, and then we we'll just click on each component and drag. That's component four, three, Now, if we want to be able to tell people what that is, we can go to the tables, add a table in. Let's just move this so we can get to the corner. Place this table in the corner, just out of the way. You can see it automatically says item one is the link, how many we have in there, a description if we want to put a description in, and then it tells us what material Fusion says that was made out of. Now, obviously, if we go back and change one of these files, this will then tell us to update. You'll get an alert up here, and it will tell you to update, and it'll update the details. So now, what we need to do is to go into our title block and change any of the details we need to there. So it could be a case of changing the drawing number and so on. So you can see drawing number here. You can change that. You can change all the other parts that you want to put in. I'm not going to do that now, but you can see that once you've done that, finish title block, and then you've got your exploded diagram. What we can then do is go to File, Save. It should already suggest a name, so that's fine. Let's just call it, just in case it's going to overwrite any of the existing files. Save. We've saved it into our document, our folder. Then when we want to print it out, we go to Output, PDF. OK. Save it wherever we want to save it. Then we can open up that PDF and print it out. As with all of the drawings we do, remember that if your template is A3, when you come to print it out, you need to print it at A3. You do not want to print it at A4 because all the scales will be off, things won't look right. So make sure that if you've done an A3 drawing, it's printed A3. If you want to do an A4 drawing, go back in, create a new template, do an A4 drawing instead.